And welcome back here at the Maple Zone Sports Academy for the MLK Pro Invite Day. And we're going to work towards the infield defensive workout portion. Once again, for BFA Sports, I am Al Fisher along with my brother from another, Doug Stasek. Doug, we saw some speedy times for that 60-yard dash. Well, they say speed kills. And uh, I got to tell you, from what I saw, that's absolutely going to be it's absolutely going to be the case. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys running some respectable times, but now we're moving to the infield defensive workout. Where guys right. will be working from the third, short, second, and first base positions. All right, so we're going to try to get you up close and personal, as I always like to say. Only we'll do it that way, Doug. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we got our one of our camera guys a little bit in, uh, we'll call it harm's way, if you will. Um, but... He'll be fine. You're going to see now Ken Spangenberg giving some commands to the troops. And then obviously once that happens, um, we'll be in a position here in just a few to kind of get things going. It's going to be kind of a combination. It's not usually what you see at a standard showcase because of the, the dynamic of, of what we have going on here today. Um, but it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome stuff for sure. Yeah, as we have a short delay... This is a pretty impressive complex where you have two separate buildings. We're going to be actually moving over later on after the morning workouts over into the second building for some hitting and some pitching. Yeah, and uh, when, you're, when you're live, it's always a really interesting, sometimes an interesting uh, concept because it's unscripted. So there's no editing, there's no redo, and we take a lot of pride in it. And for those with the little ears... If you happen to hear any, well, that's all right. <laughs> words. <laughs> all right, we have Alex Kahn. So we have two guys going at one time. So it's a, it's a Ken Spangenberg special. So buckle, look at your seatbelts here, kids. So Alex Kahn and Andrew Morocco. Kahn is number two. Number three is Andrew Morocco. Kahn, the West Virginia commit. It's a class 21 rising senior out of Calvert Hall. And Morocco is a commit to Coastal Carolina. It's a rising senior for Franklin Regional High School in Pennsylvania. Yeah, so I'm going to do my best to uh, keep seesawing. When I say seesawing, what you're seeing here happen right now is first one player is taking a ball, the next guy is jumping in. So it kind of just gives the guys a break in between. Yeah, they're taking forehand, backhand. I'm realizing a slow roll or two, I believe. I'm real, realizing my eyes are <laughs> hella bad. That's Con there. Nice hose on him. We're gonna go glove side with uh, Morocco. Good shoot. This is Con again. Hey Cody, can you give me a tighter shot? Like zoom in. And that is Morocco once again. Yeah, I can tell you right now, dude, my my uh, my a my ADHD is in <laughs> high gear right now. That was Khan. Here comes Morocco once again. All right, that'll bring us number four. Number five. Number four is Cam Conley. Number five is Jesse Jakonski. Yeah, number four, Cam Conley. Number five, Jesse Jakonski. Conley, a Pepperdine commit. And Jakonski, a North Carolina commit. All right, so again, I'll go back. And for those of you watching at home, it's kind of a, it's like seesaw at the old playground. <laughs> One guy goes up, one guy goes down. One guy goes up, one guy goes down. Usually, Al, you were the guy that always made it go down, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's weighted to one side, unfortunately. I think I broke a couple seesaws. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I think you broke a director's chair, too, if I'm not mistaken. 
<laughs> that is very true, unfortunately. Here, back to Jakonski. Nice backhand. Yeah, real nice backhand. Folks, they are playing right at their regulation depth. It was measured out by Coach Spangerberg and his team. Yeah, this MSI facility, man, it's uh, it's beautiful, especially from a baseball setup. Oh yeah, you know, like to be able to get a full infield in here for the scouts to see what's going on, tremendous. Nice hands there by Conley. Finishing up here with the slow roller. All right. Number six is Justin Zestawicki. Number seven, Justin Rubin. Just to remind everybody at home, <clears throat> we are recording all of these. And the, uh, the Internet service here inside is uh, pretty slow. So that's what's creating a bit of a, a lag as your screen. So have no fear. Everything's being recorded in uh, real time, and we'll post it accordingly later on this evening. Sesta Wiki is a, another North Carolina commit, and Justin Rubin is a commit to Virginia. Nice range nice, uh, there by nice. Ruben. Yep. Oh. I'll tell you, man, Zesta Wiki, he has such a great first step to the baseball. Sets himself up, really nice angle, shortens up the throw, and uh, makes it look relatively effortless. But again, just good instincts. We now have number eight, Kevin McGonagall, and number nine, Maximus Martin. McGonagall, commit to Auburn, and Martin, committed to Rutgers. Nice quiet stance there by McGonagall. And... Uh, Martin really doing a nice job of attacking the baseball and getting through his throws. You know, from a fundamental standpoint, that's one thing we constantly say. If you see him let the ball go, foul is released. That's good stuff. McGonagall is a 23. So he must, mm. he's probably the youngest guy in a clubhouse here. Sophomore year. Actually, I think I saw a 24 on here, Doug. I did. There is a 24 on here. There is a 24 on here? There is a 24 on here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> make sure you point them out. I will later on. Uh, this, uh, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> got some guys. A little pedigree. A little bit of a DNA <laughs> going there. Well, like, we'll get back to that one later on. Let's let these guys shine. Man, I love it. All right, number 10, Ryan Weingartner. The Purdue commit, and Andrew Fisher, number 11. The commit to Duke. Now front and center. Both 
rising juniors for their respective schools. Weingartner going to St. Augustine Prep and Fisher at Wall High School. Yeah, you know, it's Weingartner is a kid. It's Fisher from Weingartner has been working his tail off to actually pick up pitching, and he's uh, I mm. saw him throwing on video the other day. He's up to 95. Wow. And he's just picking it up. Uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's he's a student of the game. Ooh -wee. His attitude is always, whatever I got to do to be in the lineup, I'm going to help my team and do it. So, got to love that. They're just showing off a little bit of that cannon there. Look at the size of the kid going to Clemson. <laughs> and being six foot two, he ran a six six seven. Yeah, Fisher done not to correct you, not to oh, yeah, no, yeah, he's I going to Duke. I'm, I'm one ahead of myself. That's okay. That's a bit, that's all right. That's actually bad to say that down in the Carolinas. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> that's that's really <laughs> bad. That's a Freudian slip right oh, there. Oh my god. <laughs> gonna have You're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably get trolled <laughs> for that one online. <laughs> Number 12, Ari Semek. There's the kid from Clemson. But he was flying. 6'6", six, 7", six, uh, earlier being a 6'2", 200-pound stud. And that's number 13, Cole Hertzler. The commit to Liberty. 6'5". wonder if he can be a two-way athlete. Liberty's got a good football team going. He looks like tight end material. Oh, yeah. Good size. 6'5", 220. Yeah. Samick showing a good hose there. Yeah, I mean, you got two guys that are, uh, they are big, man. You know, and it's interesting, too. You talk about the athleticism. A lot of times in this sport, it's like you get guys that are as, as big as they are. You see, you know, Samick and Hertzler both being corner infielders yep but dude the footwork is incredible like these guys big as they are looking light on their feet looks like they can get it done in more than one spot very impressive for the beefy third baseman here hey and they're showing well in front of how many scouts today um it's quite a few i thought i saw at least 20 it's quite quite a few about 36 wow well, they'll be able to see you here on BFA Sports if they don't get here. Hopefully they have a lot of cotton so their ears don't bleed <laughs> listening to you <laughs> comment all day long. Thank you. Uh, I really I'm here all for right, it. number 14, Joe Jakonski. And number 15, Josh Sharonski. Yeah, so Skaronski. Skaronski is showing as uncommitted right now. At a St. John's Catholic prep. He's a class of 23 sophomore. And uh, Carolinas are getting a whole lot of good ball players because we've seen Clemson, Ooh. Duke, and now the boys in powder blue. Yeah, so far, three commits through the first 15 in North Carolina. And again, uh, we're very aware that the stream is a little probably choppy. Um, nothing we can do. The uh, internet service here is, I will tell you, it's a it's a BFA record for slowness. <laughs> Unfortunately, but we'll be able to give you to you the recorded version. Again, a couple big third basemen doing a nice job. Good balance. Yeah. Really good range there by Chikonsky. They're really making it challenging for the uh, for us today. Chikonsky and Skaronsky. Yeah. 
I, I think we're setting a record too of number of graphic changes that I'm doing <laughs> in, a, in a single segment. Keeping you on your toes. Number 16, Nick LaRusso, and number 17, Rondolfo Carlo the Fourth. LaRusso, now a junior at Villanova. And Carlo committed to Bryant. Amazing the size of these young men we're seeing here. Definitely. Both these two are 6'2. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Again. Whew. Nice backhand there by Carlo. Nice and soft for the big man. Villanova, just a stone's throw from where we're at. You know, it's funny. A lot of the guys that we've been fortunate enough to do the, the broadcasts and help them out along the way, be seen by colleges, in this case being seen by the pros, they always love to take our footage and edit it. They're going to have one heck of a time doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> they got to go to radio, TV, film <laughs> at college. Got to take, a, take an elective. <laughs> All right, we have number 32 in the red is Christian Moore. And number 18 is Ruben Livingston. Christian Moore is a new addition to the group. As you saw him earlier today. And Livingston is a commit to Kent State at a Wilson High School in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and so uh, obviously with the quality of our graphics, we do them a bit in advance. So when we have guys that are a little bit late to the party, we'll call it tough for us to uh, come up with them because we do all of our homework. So uh, apologies to some of these late guys, but hopefully by the time we get around to hitting, we can uh, get some produced for them. I don't know how many numbers on Christian Moore, but he's probably about the size, same size as Livingston. And Livingston is listed at six foot three. Moore, right around that same size. So he's doing a real nice job, though, man. Talk about light on his feet, float to the ball, and uh, he's got real nice arm slot. You got, and he's a tremendous actor. <laughs> well, that's good for he's endorsements. A, I mean, future he, endorsements, you want to be good in front of the camera and make it work. So, good for him. Bill All right. Could be a running back. So, now we're going to go to uh, third base, and our cameraman, Cody, wants to get smoked here. Hey, Cody. You don't want to get hit. Right there is good. Sorry, folks, you're listening to uh, – Let's make live adjustments. Yeah. Live production. So, Cody, you're going to stay right on the hands of the fielder. Don't worry about moving the camera too much. Just wide enough that coaches can see him from cap to cleats. <laughs> Just uh, do the, your little out of tilt there. Level that up. There you go. All right. So, again, you know, when you're in, when you're in the live stream deal and it's uh, unscripted, Gonna uh, get this thing, get this thing set for you. All right, number 19, David Oliva. And number 21, Jake Books. Again, number 19, David Oliva. 
Number 21, Jake Books, both first basemen. Leave it committed to Stony Brook. And Books committed to Pitt. Nice shoot there. Cody, a little tighter if you can. You know, and again, that, that's one of the dynamics that we're working with as far as uh, going back and forth between these players on the fly. So we're just kind of following direction here. Going with the proverbial flow. <laughs> All right. All right, number 22 is Jimmy Kirk. And number 23 is Reese Kernane. Kirk is uncommitted, rising senior at a Malvern prep. Kernane is a Boston College transfer. Hartford Community College. Chance you see Kernane working the outfield work. He's also a right fielder. Oh, eh, just a bit wide there. Breakfast ball. Listen, man, for a lot of these guys, very uh, unique situation to, to be in. Knowing that there are so many guys in the building today that are employed by major league clubs, uh, that's a whole different dynamic than anything mm. they've ever done. All right, number 24, Tag Davis. The class of 24. Rising freshman. And number 25, Trevor Dutra. Who's committed to St. John's, the rising senior out of Iona, Iona Prep. So there's your 24. Oh. Would be Ben Davis's young, young son as a freshman. Hey man, 2024, six foot three already. Holy cow. Mm. You know, and I think the, the big thing, a kid like Davis, is what today represents. It's not about where you're at today. It's about projectability, right? Like, so what's the physical, what's the physical frames that these guys have? What are, what are they going to look like two years, three years, five years down the road? But just certainly for him, 2024 20, being six foot three and almost 200 pounds already, that's uh, and he just turned 15 in October. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a lot of projectability, that's for sure. Nice job there by 
Dutra. Dutra. Yep. Two lefties. All right, now I think we're rolling over to the uh, third baseman. I think I just heard Coach Spanch say, uh, be ready to roll two. So we might be going around the horn. Third, short, second, maybe. Yeah. We're just going to take a guess. Yeah. Take a shot in the dark. No. It's going to feel a little bit like an audible. There we go. That's number 18, Ruben Livingston. And number, number 17, 17, and that's Carlo, the fourth. Randolfo, Carlo, the fourth. I think we're just rolling one. Oh, one through. One okay. through. That was number 13, Cole Hertzler. I don't know if you'll be able to stay <laughs> with it. Number 12 is Aries Samick. And that is number five, Jesse Chakonsky. Oh, you know, I, I can... I can cheat off of the back. Nick LaRusso just went. And that looks like Andrew Fisher. Yeah, why go in why go in numerical order? Ah. What the heck? That was number 15, Josh <laughs> Skronsky. <laughs> he can't keep up. We're back at the shortstop. All right, good. Moving right along. Ken just get you're gonna have a headache at the end of this day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> a nice flip That's there. That was number the six. It's number it's a task. 32. That's Christian Moore. And that was number 12, Ari Samick. So he made his move from third to short. Number four just took that ground ball. That's Cam Conley. <laughs> and number seven is Justin Rubin. Now we're going to move over to second base. So second will go to short. Straight ahead. Uh, and that looks like that was number 14, Joe Jakonski. Yeah, I'm going to let you call him out at this point. And that, that looked like Weingartner, I believe. It was, yeah, it was number 10. Yep. I can't tell from this far. Number eight. That's number eight, Kevin McGonigal. Number three. Number three is Andrew Morocco. Emmis. All right, now uh, th first to th first to second here. That was number twenty-one, Jake Books. It's twenty-two. Uh, There's number 19. nineteen is David Oliva. Some big guys over at first base. Woo. And that is number 23, Race Kernane. And now number 22, Jimmy Kirk. That was number 25, Trevor Dutra. And I think we're coming back to third base again. I think I'm going to need a nap after this. That was number 18, <laughs> Ruben Livingston. Uh, I think I'm going to need a trip to the bar. <laughs> number 17, Randolfo Carlo IV. And number 13 is Cole Hertzler. I'm going I'm to try here. Alex Kahn now stepping up. That's number five, Jesse Jakonski. Number 16, Nick LaRusso. 
That was number 11, Andrew Fisher. Number 15, Josh Skaronski. Now we're back at short. That was number seven, Justin Rubin. Yeah, so Ken Spansberg promised Number things nine. would be fast. He wasn't lying. That was Maxis Martin. And taking another shot at it. Looks like it is. I think it's number six. That's Estewicki. It is number six. One of the many guys wearing the uh, baseball performance center caps today. Shout out to our guys, Ed Charlton and Mike Adams, which, oh, by the way, Mike Adams is going to be pitching. This afternoon. Oh, nice. As a free agent candidate. Awesome. Yeah, Yo, I can't wait. Yeah, man. <laughs> I did not know that. All right, now we're going to second base. I believe that was Weingartner. Yeah, nice spin. Yep. Weingartner and I'm just trying to get the numbers. Ruben turning two there. It's yep. Numbers. Was that, that was number eight. eight. That was McGonagall. Man, oh, man. That was number 14, Joe Jakonski. Uh, I think we're going back to first base. And that's number 23. Just hooked the grounder, Reese Kernane. That's number 22, Jimmy Kirk. And now number 25 is Trevor Dutra. Taking a grounder here at first and flipping a second. Now 24, Tag Davis, the young freshman. And that was I believe number 19, yes it was, number 19, David Oliva. And that was number 21, Jake Books. Uh -oh. And now we're doing a switcheroo from yeah, the second to short, short to second. Yeah, the middle infielders. Twist it, as they like to say. I think the first one up, if we're going to second base, might be Christian Moore. No, nope, we're going third base. I'm totally <laughs> thrown off. All right, All right. That's number 18, Ruben Livingston. Number 17, Randolfo Carlo the Fourth. Everybody knows that if you were a uh, a, philo a Greek philosopher, you would have been Confucius. <laughs> Number 13, I think we all know that. Cole Hertzler. Number two, that was Alex Kahn. <laughs> that was Jesse Jakonski. Way to stay down and low. Nick LaRusso staying low on that ball. Nice job. Fisher. Skaronski stepping up. Yeah, and we're we are getting reports from uh, YouTube that uh, the stream is definitely it's, it's definitely not holding very well right now. Well, so again, you know, we are recording everything, guys. So we'll be posting that up. Uh, Later on today.
Yeah, there's. I'm trying to keep up, but I can't anymore. <laughs> no, 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 Lou, man. Got a lot of guys rolling around this uh, infield right here. Hey, at least we're getting it on camera. There's nothing to do with what we're saying, so. And then coming up after this group, we're going to have uh, the outfielders. Outfielders, right. And then the catchers, the catchers. And then this afternoon, hitting and pitching. Um, going to have a lot more metrics in the afternoon. So hitters and pitchers are going to be hooked up to TrackMan. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see a lot of instant feedback right on the screen. Ooh, nice glove work there. I don't know if you saw that, Maximus Martin. Yes, sir. The Rutgers commit. On one move, just sweeping it with the glove. And we're back to first base, turning two. Yeah, some really silky smooth work going on here in the middle infield. That was Ruben Livingston and Randolfo Carlo the fourth. And now number 13, Cole Hertzler. And here comes Alex Kahn. Nice pick by Jesse Chikonsky. Another nice short hop by number 16. Nick LaRusso, it's the second time we mentioned him. Number 11, Andrew Fisher. Now number 15, Josh Skaronski. Oh, man. Woo. Good at him slot, both for Juan yep. Gardner and Conley. Yep. Wow. <laughs> They say this is not your father's own Oldsmobile. This is uh, <laughs> this is not your everyday workout. No, nah, no. Nah, doubt about that. I mean, you're you're looking at the schools a lot of these guys have already committed to, and the way they go about their craft. I mean, it, it's noticeable. So, you just look at their current status and the commits that are on here. It's amazing. Oh yeah. A lot of attention to arm slot right here by a lot of these guys and. You know, that's something that's important. You know, it depends how you, you end up fielding the ball, but that's what you look for, right? It's reactivity and say, middle infield, one arm slot doesn't fit all. There's a lot of times you got to be able to throw the ball from different angles. So that's what the scouts are looking for right now and seeing some really good pivots and mm -hmm. hips. It's a, this is a treat, man. This is a treat to watch these guys do their work. Like I said to you before, this is not work. This is entertainment for me. Yeah. Well, you're not entertained. Amen for that. Well, you do have Maximus out there. Yeah, you like, do. Maybe, maybe he'll ask you, right. are you not entertained? <laughs> All right, and this is uh, Dutra. This is a... Uh, That was Allegra, and now this is Kernane. Oliva, just to make sure everybody knows at home. Unless you got allergies, it wasn't Alleg Allegra. <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, good. We'll see. I wasn't going off of. Uh, I was. I was pulling a Tom Warner node notes. No right? notes. I don't have a roster in front of me. I'm just going right off of uh, what we've learned about these guys today. 
That was Tig Davis. All right, so that'll do it for the infielders, and uh, we're going to effectively step away. And we're back in a few.